Hi Leo, welcome to your weekly tarot message. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. I have two specials going on for the month of October, so if you'd like to know more details about those offers or any other of my tarot services, just email me, or if you'd like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is down below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. So for this week, I'll be doing something different. I'll be giving you an intuitive message focused on love, matters of the heart, and relationships in general for your sign. And then I'll also pull and draw out one card with a message for you. And Leos, I feel like your relationships are going through something that is asking um, for both you and the ones you are involved to be more consistent, more mature, to follow through with promises with uh, agreements, with uh, certain um, things that both have combined or both have going on as a shared, right, um, as a shared uh, dream or a shared uh, thing you have uh, in the relationship itself that unites both of you. It's like some of you might have actually uh, partnerships or relationships where you have like Besides the relationship itself, you have like business together or, or you're building something together or developing something together. And it's very important to um, be consistent, to be there for each other, to keep helping each other out, to not be negligent to your own participation in the relationship and in the demands that certain relationships have. I feel like some of you have relationships in your life, not only romantic, but of all senses that are very demanding for you like they ask from you more than what you are or feel like either you are ready to give or that you can give they put a lot of pressure or demand on you and you're being tested to open up i feel leos during this time to not um hide away or run away from either responsibilities or just to run away from your own feelings because some of you are running away not because you don't love this person or you don't want to be with certain people in your life, but because you are afraid of exposing your feelings or your vulnerability. So being vulnerable and being okay with your um, with transparency of how you feel and also being okay with um, how others feel about you, because I also feel like some of you might not want to know or hear uh, you know, not to not maybe some of you are not really that receptive to hear people you care about, and this is creating some I feel issues in the relationship and growing as it should and evolving as it should. It's like some of you might be contributing to the stagnant, um, to a little bit of the stagnant energy that your love life might have. Now, Others of you just don't know where to go with your relationships. Like if you're a little bit lost in this energy of uh, like reaching a certain crossroads. Do I go, go left? Do I go right? Do I stay with this person? Do I leave this person? I feel like you're lost in in terms of direction. You don't know, you know, what to make out of a relationship. Should you take it to the next level? Should you commit? Should it, it remain casual? So there's a lot of thought about... Um, there's a lot of thought about um, what to do with the status of a relationship, I feel. Others of you that don't necessarily have anyone in your life romantically wise, just I feel like the question here is what it is that you're contributing with. Do you want love? Do you want a person in your life? Do you want to have a shared um a shared relationship, a combination of both your love and the love of someone else. You want to transform your life through, uh, again, the bonding aspect, or don't you? Because I feel like some of you are, like, tiptoeing around the issues of love. Like, sometimes one day you want love and the next day you don't want love. So, again, you're not being consistent and the universe can manifest or help you create, you know, a better state of... Um, 
a better a better environment let's say or a stage of experience in terms of your love life that would make you feel more happy i feel like first some of you need to really tap inwards and understand where your where is your heart what are uh, your priorities what is it saying do you feel like you're ready or not do you feel like you want to remain casual or you want to have a committed relationship in your life it's like being very honest with your feelings so that then you are also very honest with others because some of you that are dealing with uh, possible love interests it could be that you're not being you know again consistent and honest deep down honest with those you are involved with because because you don't know what you want you might you know kind of be playing around with your moods and you know um, others don't deserve that I feel like if you don't know what you want communicate that don't play around and also if someone is doing this to you do not allow that um, to be a part of your life because I feel like you know you this is not what you want someone to not be sure of you of your worth of your participation in your life so there's a lot of um, there's a need for reassurance, there's a need to make up your mind, there's a need to uh, understand uh, where you want to go and commit with that sense of direction. I feel like some of you have here something as well about, again, broken promises, like things not, uh, not happening the way they... Um, were intended to it's like uh, either you not following through or someone not following through with their promises to you or what they told you they wanted out of you or out of a relationship so this is the night of fire it's interesting because this is the night of wands and it's exactly someone that is very passionate but as fast as he comes in he goes out so this is not a very stable energy this is not an energy of consistency this is an energy of casual dating of you know um, passionate encounters but when you ask this knight to stay and commit and do the hard work it's very hard to make them to commit to that point so this card says passionate adventurous self-confident and restless um, a sudden event requires your immediate attention there's no time to waste reflect about things carefully again what it is that you want but if you're running away from others or if others are running away from you, take that very seriously because all action creates a reaction. Everything we do has a consequence and a price somewhere down the line. And you need to be, before you act upon impulse, just consider that. And then if you're ready for the possible consequence, fine, just follow your heart and do what is right for you but make sure you are ready to pay uh, the consequence because it might be that you run away from other just to realize that you love this person and then you want to come back and of course this person might not be available anymore or it could be that you fight your own you fight against your own inner truth and you commit to someone that you don't really love or that you're really not you know ready to be in that um committed state of relationship so i hope you have a great week thank you so much for all of you that have been liking sharing subscribing commenting and donating to my channel i really appreciate it thank you so much and please keep doing so hopefully we'll see each other soon